Good afternoon, we're live on the Trade Decorator Festival and this afternoon we've got a product demo from um, CT1. Um, we're going to be looking at the um, CT1 and um, Peeltech products. Um, Peeltech is the latest technology in paint removal from creators of CT1, the UK's number one sealant and adhesive. Um, we'll also discuss how the painting and decorating industry are now replacing cork with CT1 and we'll be looking at how to clean, peel and seal from CT1. Um, in this session we are going to be launching a competition to win a CT1 hamper full of CT1 and Peel Tech products. So we'll be doing that in when we go to our live Q&A session a little later in the show when I'm going to be joined by um, Gary Watson from CT1 and he'll be here live to take all of your questions. Now if you're watching us over on Facebook welcome to the show. You're not too late to get involved if you'd like to come and join our live Q&A and put your questions to Gary in the um, second part of the session. Um, but first of all we're going to go to our demonstration and I'll see you all a little later. Say goodbye to those tedious and unsafe ways of removing paint. SeaTech have developed the solution. Introducing PeelTech, the latest addition to the CT1 family. PeelTech is so very easy to use. Delivered in a handy aerosol with its unique nozzle, PeelTech sends the right amount of product to the right place. PeelTech reacts fast. Simply spray, and in less than 10 minutes, watch that paint peel away. Incredible! Due to Peeltech's unique formula, it won't damage the base material, but prepares the surface perfectly for recoating. Peeltech is enormously versatile, working on almost every material with the same efficiency. And with that unique formula, Peeltech can cope with the most challenging tasks, such as removing multiple layers of paint. Just look at this. This incredible product reduces labor considerably and with no dangerous vapors or accidental scratching.
antiviral, layers of antiviral. That's three minutes. Wow. Three minutes. Is that epoxy you've done today, Dave? Yeah. Three minutes. Three minutes, impressive. So you're saying that's years of antiviral there? Yeah. So how would you usually get rid of that? Sandblasting. Slowly blasting. Wow. Are you impressed? Yeah, yes. So folks, let's get something out of the way right from the start. 
I'm no DIY man and I'll do whatever it takes to try and get out of it. So this gate here is 20 years old and it's been varnished and painted many many times and it's long overdue some TLC. I got out of doing it during lockdown one and somehow managed to avoid it during lockdown two but we're now in lockdown three and I can't put it off any longer. It has to get done. So I've armed myself with the following tools. Paint scrapers, which apparently come in useful when you're taking off paint and varnish. Set of gloves, and of course, a can of this, Peeltech. Peeltech is manufactured by a company called SeaTech, based in Newry, Northern Ireland. And uh, they also manufacture Miracle Seal, Multisolve, um, BT1, and of course, CT1. CT1 is the uh, number one sealant and adhesive uh, on the market and has been for over 15 years. How do I know all this? Well, I've been filming CTEX product videos for many, many years, and either I'm a very good cameraman or these products actually do what they say on the tube, tub, or can. So, let's find out. Oh, and one more thing you'll need. A cup of tea. Just give the can a good old shake and spray on. So you let that work away for about 30 seconds or so and this is your opportunity to get a wee sup of tea. Mm. We are literally down to the burr wood with only a couple of scrapes and there's no effort whatsoever. It literally is just peeling off. So obviously if you know you've got a lot of coats on there over the years paint and varnish and all the rest and then once you've taken off the first few layers then you maybe want to give it another spray just to get it right down to the burr wood so you just put that on and again just let it bubble away there and do its thing for 30 seconds or so and get a wee sup of tea So what, what has really impressed me is not how easy the paint and the varnish and that's coming off but actually if you just look here it doesn't burn or stain the base material which ultimately is very important. So see if you have a wee look out there. As you can see, I live in a most beautiful part of this world. That's uh, Strangford Lock. Um, and as you can imagine, living here, we're very much exposed to the elements. And this gate, over the years, you can be assured that whatever I've put onto it has been designed not to come off very easy. But yet, Peeltech has literally defied that. And one last thing, which is very, very important. Peel tech doesn't harm the environment. So now that I've got all the paint and varnish 
off the gate. I'm just going to give it a light sand before I uh, give it a, a nice varnish. Well, folks, I'm quite proud of myself. For somebody who doesn't do DIY, I've just restored a 20 year old gate back to its former glory, thanks to Peel Tech. Right, you, if you finish messing with that gate, come in and get the dishes done. I wonder if C Tech devised anything to make dishwashing easier. Hi everyone, welcome to our um, live Q&A with Gary Watson from CT1. Hi Gary, welcome to the show. Hello Paula, good afternoon, thanks, uh, thanks for the invite. Oh, you're more than welcome, it's great to have you here. And um, welcome everyone to the session. So um, just to explain a little bit about what we're going to be doing in this session, um, if you have any questions that you'd like to put to Gary, can you hit the ask a question tab and type your questions in there? If you would like to come on the screen and speak to Gary, you can put your um, details in the comments box and just say that you'd like to come up and talk to us and I can bring you up on the screen. Um, and feel free to comment as we go along. So um, Gary, how long does Peel Tech take to work? Uh, well, it starts working on contact, uh, Paula, to answer your question. But ideally, um, so you can start actually peeling the, you know, the paints or varnishes away after about 60 seconds. But uh, ideally, if you leave for five minutes or so, even the better. It just makes the, the, the paint removal that much easier. Oh, fantastic. And I've got a question from Gareth Robinson. He says, roughly, how far does a can of Peel Tech go? Yeah, no, it's a, a good question, Gareth. And people ask that from time to time. And um, uh, broadly speaking, you get about 40 linear metres out of a can. OK, and will it work on graffiti from concrete? Yeah, I, 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 absolutely. It's um, a, a challenging thing is, is removing graffiti, as we all know. There's plenty of it about, <laughs> fortunately, perhaps. But there we are. But yeah, it does help to remove graffiti very effectively. Of course, you would use that. You would do so in conjunction with uh, with uh, with water and the usual stuff like wire brush, that type of thing. But to answer your question, yeah, it's super effective at removing graffiti. OK. And what about um, on a rusty old gate? Will it work on that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I assume you have one and you, you look at it, do something to it, Paul. But yes, of course, it, it, it's excellent for those little sort of DIY projects around the home as well, of course, yes. Okay. Um, Vincent Boom is asking, he says, Hi, would respiratory protection be recommended or required even though it's environmentally friendly? Yeah, no, that's a, that's a very good question, Vincent, and, and absolutely, we we would uh, recommend that people use the, the the appropriate PPE equipment, of course. So that would, you know, be gloves and uh, and the wraparound goggles are very good, of course, and, and of course uh, a mask of some description. I think the ABEC ones are pretty good, the filter masks. But uh, so to answer your question, yes, the the appropriate PPE uh, protection is a very good idea. Yes. Okay. Um, I've got a question from Justin and just popped up in comments. Um, can you buy in larger amounts or is it um, all out of a spray can? Yeah, no, that's a, that's a very good question and, and, and I'm sure that will follow. But at this moment in time, uh, it's only available in a, in a 500 mil aerosol can. Okay. And um, can I use Peel Tech on my bolt to remove anti-foul? I think we saw that in the video, didn't we? That yeah, was in the video. Yeah, I think you might. I think you might well have done, and and, and absolutely, it's, it's very effective in, in removing antifoul. To answer your question, Paul, it's very, very good for that. So yes. Okay, and what about harmful solvents? Do, are there any harmful solvents in CT one? No, no, no. Oh, sorry, it's, in Peel Tech. It, no, no, no. It, uh, well, neither actually. But um, <laughs> as far as Peel, as far as Peel Tech's concerned, no, no, no. It's it, 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 it's completely uh, methyl chloride. Free, um, which is um, obviously a, a carcinogenic product that used to be in a number of products um, back in the day. Um, which, uh, thankfully, those sort of, that sort of product is now um, removed from, from the products that we use this day and age, which is, which is fantastic. So, to answer your question, no, it's completely methyl chloride free, which is a good thing for both, you know, for all of us, for the environment, and of course, the person that uh, is using the product. 
Right, okay. And is, the, is there any paints that it won't remove? No, I mean, not, not necessarily. I mean, paints, certain paints are harder to remove than others, of course. And, and sometimes you, you may have to, you know, a lot more water-based paints will be easier to, to, to remove than, say, an old, a traditional sort of lead-based paint, for, for example. But um, to answer your question, no, you may have to repeat the process. Certain yeah. um, paints are, are, are more stubborn and harder to remove, particularly when there's multiple layers and they've been on, on a given substrate for 30 years and more. Um, so they could be more challenging. But to answer your question, no, 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 it's it, you can use it for, for all types of paints, no problem. Um, Tony has put a question up. Um, he says he's used Peel Tech on gloss and it worked very well. Um, can you use the product on wood stains? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's very effective on wood stains, so yes. Okay, brilliant. Um, and another question here from um, James. It says, your products say they are made in Britain. Is Peel Tech product also made in Britain? Yes. Okay. And will it remove water-based paints? Yes. Okay, nice easy ones for you. <laughs> At the moment. <laughs> Um, and um, what about on mirrors and glass? Is it going to damage those surfaces? No, no, no. But uh, no, to answer your question. But as uh, as with anything, even like with the removal of graffiti, what you would do after the after you've used peel tech in, in, in an application, such as uh, mirrors and glass and that type of thing, you would um, use uh, water, rinse with water thereafter to ensure that you don't have a problem. Okay. Um, I know you've got some special offers on at the moment, haven't you, um, at Crown Decorating Centres. Do you want to tell the guys what those special offers are? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've got a fantastic uh, special offer that is available through Crown Decorating Centres where um, I, I, we're famous for, for, for many things, but particularly, I suppose, we're known for our, uh, our CT1 sealant and adhesive, which is the number one sealant and adhesive in the market, as people, most people seem to know. It's kind of like a verb in the industry, I guess, these days. But at Crown, they've got a fantastic offer whereby you're buying two tubes of CT1 and you're, you're actually getting a can of Piltec free of charge and, uh, and so it's a fantastic offer and that's available throughout until the end of March so yeah if you're in the market um, that's the place to go. Oh perfect. Um, can we buy your products online? Yes you can you can buy you can buy our products online of course um, no problem or as I've said you can buy through the special offer if you're in the market to, to, to use the product uh, now or in the next month uh, you know to the end of March you get that fantastic promotion through through Crown Decorating Centres and it's actually and Piltec for example is also going to be available through all, all Wix uh, stores as well so um, widely available both online and in store. Brilliant and do you have a, a list of stockists not necessarily with you is it something that you have on your website? Or? <laughs> yeah I carry them around in my, in my, in my book. Um, yes we do what, what we what we do because we've kind of got um, uh, regional distribution sort of from Land's End to John O'Groats really the whole of the UK if if you if you contact us on our on our, on our online website and just ask where you are get your given location be it postcode town or region we will refer you to your local local distributor but as I say it's available through Crown. They have a nationwide network of, of, of stores. It's available. It will soon be available through Wix. Of course, they have locations throughout the whole of the UK. And of course, you can buy online if you don't wish to travel. Okay, perfect. And I've got a few more questions coming in, which is fantastic, right. guys. Keep those questions coming. Um, Brian Dennett says, do you need to wash down the residue from wood after using Peel Tech? Yes, you, you, ideally you can do or you can do you can do that if you choose to answer your question, Ryan. Or also, we do another product which is called Multisol, which is used in conjunction with not only sealed CT1 but Piltec and many other things I might add. But Piltec is basically a solvent cleaner and a degreaser, also in, aer in an aerosol form, a little five two hundred mil can or a bigger five hundred mil can if you like. Um, and you can use that product. And again, you simply spray it um, if it's preparatory. You spray it before, of course course or if it's after you spray it after and it will help to it, it's a cleaner and a degreaser safe I might add um, so you can use it for both before um, and after to ensure you get a fantastic result in terms of preparation and a finished product okay fantastic um, I've got a question from Stephen he says hi when you say one can covers 14 linear meters what yeah. width are you talking about um, I, I, I guess it probably covers about, oh, oh the width is a, probably about, oh, crikey, it's the about, 
I think it's about, yeah, it's not a lot. It's about two, three inch, about a three inch, I think of the spray, about three inches across. Right, okay. Good question. And um, Vincent Boone says, is it available in Crown Decorator Centres in Southern Ireland, including the special offer? I believe it's available throughout the whole of uh, the uh, Crown uh, network of branches. I mean, it would make sense to check with your local branch before you, you travel, of course. Yes. But to answer your question, yes, uh, available through the whole of the Crown uh, Decorating Centre network, I believe. OK, um, I've got a comment from James. He said he picked up a box a few weeks ago and the product did a great job. However, the box had a sheet in it saying it was made by Motip in Belgium. Can you please clarify? Oh, um, do you know what? I, I don't know how that would have happened or I don't know to answer your question. So I couldn't answer that question without further investigation. Is it, was it, where did that come from? Is it a guy called James? It's from James, yeah. Oh, okay. Don't know the answer to that, James. If you contact us on our info page on our website, we can look into it and get back to it. Get, get back to you on it, I guess. Okay, perfect. And um, is there a shelf life for the product, Gary? Yes, the shelf life is about five years maximum to answer your question, Paula. All right, and where can I buy Peel Tech? I think we've buy... covered yeah, that with again, the stockists, Peel... haven't we? Yeah, yeah. indeed. For, you can buy Pe Peel Tech, of course, as I've said, through all the Crown Decorating stores. It's available at a number of places. Um, even um, there are other, there are plenty of uh, other outlets. For example, Travis Perkins nationally have, have kept it some time, and uh, and going forward, um, uh, uh, they're going to stock it at all the Wix outlets too soon. Um, but primarily, certainly, and I suppose in this forum, being a decorating forum, um, most of you most of you guys that are looking online, I guess, would uh, would be very familiar with Crown. So I would go there, especially as they've got a bit of a special offer, well, a fantastic special offer at present yeah. anyway. Yeah, it's a perfect opportunity to give it a try because it's not going to cost you anything. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've got a, a question from Carly Phillips. She says, do you know how many cans he used to strip the gates in the video? No, no, I have no, <laughs> I, I have no idea. I would have to, I don't know that, I don't know that the, the, the chat, I cannot answer that question without uh, answering that question and getting the answer for you. I can find out to you and come back if you want to. That's, but to answer your question, no, I don't off the top of my head, no. Um, Damien Creedon says, I may have missed this because my signal's not great today, but do you need to neutralise the surface after use? Um, in terms of what, uh, what peel tech, after the peel tech has been uh, sprayed and, and the paints and varnishes have been removed, is, is, is that yeah, what? Yeah, I think that's going back to what Brian was asking you before when he said you need to wash it down afterwards to sort of neutralise yes. it. Yeah, that would make perfect sense. Once you've, you've, you've the, removed the uh, the paint or varnish or whatever the case may be, if you were to use uh, a, a multi sole spray, for example, thereafter, and just wipe dry, that will be makes it perfect for paint decor uh, uh, repainting thereafter. Okay, and um, I've got a question from Vincent Boom. He said, "What other products do you have?" Um, we do. I I, I suppose. And we do a, a, a basket of sort of really good quality trade engineer products, if you like, specifically tailored for the for the construction industry or tradesmen therein. So to answer your question, we do a, our leading product, I suppose, is, is CT1, which is the number one construction sealant and adhesive. And that's available in a range of colours, 10 colours in actual fact. Obviously, we do multi-sold, which, which is a solvent cleaner and degreaser, again, in a couple of sizes, a 200ml and a 500ml can. We do a product called Power Grab and Bond, which is a uh, really powerful, super, super strong, high-tack adhesive in cartridge form. It eliminates the uh, need for any um uh you know uh, uh fixings or temporary fixing supports that type of things fantastic um we do a product called uh, miracle seal which is a um a, you, you, you know you use it for central heating systems it, it, it stops leaks and that type of thing in central heating systems radiators solar panels underfloor heating that type of thing um we do i'm trying to think what else we do we do Oh, so we do a fantastic. I've got that one. We do a fantastic uh, range of super fast um, glues um, in, a, in a couple of different sizes um, that people use. A bit like a Mitomate type product, Paula, if you like. Yeah. Um, they're fantastic. So really powerful, really strong, really effective. Okay. Um, I've got a question from Darren. He said, "Could you use Peel Tech to remove rust um, from car alloys, for example?" No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't have thought that's a suitable application. No. Okay, um, and um, what is CT1? 
CT1, that's a good question. It's basically the leading sealant and adhesive. So you use CT1 because it's um, it's a sealant and adhesive um, in a cartridge form. So it goes in a normal um, skeleton gun, if you would. And uh, it's a sealant and adhesive and the ultimate filler, I might add. And a number of people are using CT1 as a filler now, um, basically because it's um, the flexibility, unlike traditional corks, if you like, that, 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 that you know that can crack and stuff like that. CT1 is completely solvent-free um, and it doesn't shrink or crack, so it's fantastic as, a, as an excellent cork. And of course, it's overpaintable with the with the majority of paints as well. So CT1, you reduce. Uh, it replaces numerous products all in the one cartridge. It's a sealant, it's an adhesive, and it's the ultimate filler. And available in a range of colours. Although it is overpaintable um, with the, with the majority of paints as well, I might say. Fantastic. Well, Damien Creedon agrees with you. He says it's amazing stuff. Um, CT1 is the best thing to come about in years, in his opinion. For its purposes, it's awesome. So oh, that's, that's some great feedback. Thanks for that. I'll pay you later. <laughs> um, Darren, um, I think is maybe the guy that did the use the peel tech on the fence. He said it took eight cans of peel tech to renew the double wooden gate back and front. So there you go. Um, whoever was asking that question earlier, I think it was Carly Phillips. It took eight cans to do the the fence, uh, the wooden gate. There we are. Um, Je Justin says CT1 is very good to use as a cork for areas prone to movement round windows and stair stringers. It's expensive for just general corking but has numerous other uses. Um, what else have we got here? Tom South says I've used sticks in all in in the past. What benefit does CT1 have over sticks? Oh, sticks was an alternative product, and it's 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 like you know an MS polymer, so it has, it's very effective in in many applications. We think out CC1 is a is a better product in terms of its flexibility, in terms of its colour attention, in terms of its strength. Okay. Um, oh, comment from Vincent Boom. He says maybe you can also promote this with carpenters. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yes, that, that absolutely right. Yeah, we we sell a lot of our products into um, some of that, you know, especially like CT1, of course, it's a ubiquitous product and it's not trade specific. So, yeah, carpenters are a, 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 a keen users of our products. So, absolutely. Okay, um, I've got a question from James, it's quite a technical one. He says, okay. What type of sealant is it? Is it an MSP, an SMP, an MS? S-P-U-R-S or <laughs> S-T-P-E. <laughs> <Technical, laughs> technical sealant guy, listener. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know Spurs. Oh, there we are. It's a football club, right? But there we are. Um, but CT1 is basically, a, we, we, we call it a, a, a tribrid um, sealant. And, and that basically means that, as I say, it's uh, super strong, super effective. So we've sort of, you know, taken on the old, the traditional MS policy. Sealants in general, you had many years ago, 60, 70 years ago, you had, you know, silicones and all that are still about today and fantastic. Then, of course, they, the market moved on to like MS polymers, which are modified silicones, which are better um, in terms of their performance, but they have some disadvantages in terms of maybe painting and movement, that type of thing. And then, of course, CT1 some years ago in, 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 invented, you know, uh, our uh, hybrid uh, formulation, which means uh, fastly improved in terms of flexibility, strength, that type of thing. And with our new tribrid technology, we've just taken it on to, to another level, really. That technology moves on, of course, and we just what, what, what we need to do is have a product that was um, better in terms of uh, certainly colour attention, um, stronger. CT1 gets used um, extensively as, a, as an adhesive. Um, so the, the, the adhesive strength is improved in a massive way in some applications as much as three times stronger than, than before. Um, and um, yeah, um, I, guess, I guess that's it really. So it's, it's what we call a, a tribrid polymer. Okay. Um, so I've got a question here from Tim. He says, is CT1 the same as Obi-1? No, no, no. Ob One is a, is a, 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 an, another brand, um, all, relatively new to the to the marketplace. Um, so, to answer your question, no, they're two different uh, brands, two different products. Okay. Um, a comment from Russell. He says, "Carpenters don't prep after finishing the work." <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I, I, I didn't say anything because I've got a few pals that are chippies and uh, for fear of being in trouble. So, I'll um, I'll take the Fifth <laughs> Amendment on that one if I'm on 
Um, Tony says, can you confirm if peel tech can be used on metals without damaging the surface? Yeah, you can use CT1 on metals without damaging the surface. Uh, absolutely. Okay. And Callum says, do you make your CT1? Yes, we do, of course. Okay. Fantastic. Um, I think that brings us to the end of the questions unless there's anything else anybody would like to um, type in quickly um, please feel free to do so while I just explain that what we're going to be doing now and that is that we're going to be launching our competition where you can win a CT1 hamper full of CT1 and Peel Tech products. So to enter the competition, you'll see a green button has just popped up beneath the screen. If you click on that when we end the session and fill in your details there, and we'll be doing a draw at the end of the festival for this competition, and also we'll be doing draws for all of our other individual competitions. Um, so and another oh Damien says another good session thank you all thanks Damien and thanks everyone for joining us it's been a great session some really great questions there thanks Gary um for You're joining welcome, us Paula. I enjoyed it thanks very much thanks guys um thanks very much I'll pop a link in at the bottom of the session when we finish to all the other sessions that we're um running right through till the end of the week and if you've not registered you'll be able to click on there and um register um, for those sessions. Oh, we've got one last question for you, Gary, before we leave. Yeah. Vincent Boom says, can I use this as a sealer and a filler? Asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and to answer the question, absolutely. Okay, fantastic. Thank you, everyone. Thanks again, and see you all again soon. Cheers. Bye-bye. Thanks.